Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I have an itchy nose. If you're new here, hi, my name's Sadie. This is my channel. I said I was going to try and upload a bit more often. That was in December, so this is January. So maybe like one a month. I'm going to try and do one a month. So anyway, we're back. We're sat down and I have a very exciting video because basically here in Florida right now, it's not that hot. It's not sunbathing weather every day like it was when I first got here. So I'm getting pale and I don't like it. And I really miss being fake tanned all the time. Because if you're from the UK, you know, we fake tan every night out, even when we're not going on a night out with fake tan. And here, fake tan just isn't really a thing. Like Walgreens, which is, my equivalent is boots at home, apart from Walgreens has food as well as medical stuff and makeup so anyway walgreens they have like two fake tans in there they both have no um guide color they're clear and they're like medium and they don't even sell tanning mitts which is an issue so basically i decided to get some fake tan to order some online and just as i was like thinking i need to fake tan i need to be orange molly may came out with her new tan filter so today's video is going to be me basically reviewing filter try not to show you my address reviewing filter letting you know what i think of it and for the first part whilst it's still light outside i'm gonna talk about like what's come and then later tonight i'm gonna apply it sleep in it and to speak to you again tomorrow and let you know how i'm feeling basically so yes we're gonna try have a little chat about this now and then later you'll see me looking bronzed and beautiful hopefully okay so i'll stop moving first things first is the packaging it came in this box literally just in this box like the stickers for its center on the side it wasn't in like a bag and firstly it reminds me a lot of um opoly packaging in the like the box and stuff um, because it just came in the box and not anything else and it's come all the way from the UK it was a bit battered when it got here but like I'm not really surprised I'm not mad at it and we open it up and this is what the inside looks like Ta -da! so the packaging is really nice the tan itself comes in this like cardboard sleeve you could use this if you're taking it anywhere, I guess. I really like the packaging. It has the ingredients and everything on the back. Instructions are clear. Like, it's nice. And it's in this tube. It's a decent sized tube. Is that bigger than? I think it's actually bigger than some that I've had before at home. Actually, no, it's quite skinny. But anyway, it's, does it say how much is in here? It must do. Hmm. I can't see it right now. I will say the writing on here is in white on the beige and that's kind of hard to read. Maybe it's just my eyes, but that's kind of hard to read. But I really like the colours. I like the packaging. I haven't pumped it yet or anything. So, so I bought the Extra Dark Mousse. And I also bought the mitt because, as I said, they don't have any mitts around here. I like the little pouch that the mitt comes in. If you're taking your mitt away with you anywhere, you can put it in your case or your bag without the dirty ta the dirty mitt, like, touching things. This mitt is really nice and soft. I'm not going to lie. It feels nice. I like that it has a thumb because I really don't like the ones where, like, your hand's just moving around all in there especially when you're like tanned and sticky and the same with the fact that it has the elastic round here it really annoys me when my mitt's like wide like this and my hand slips in and out when I'm like going like this so I like that it has the elastic and I always do like my hands and wrists last anyway so it's okay that it has this here because I've watched like one or two reviews and someone did say that this bit like rubbed on where they'd already tanned so they had to do it again because when they took the mitt off it had like rubbed but as I said I always do my hands and my wrist last so I can literally just take it like this and go boom 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 done 
So yeah, I like the look of the mitt. It's really nice and soft. I suppose you can see when it's dirty because it's like pink. So yeah, that's my initial reactions. The price, someone asked me the price earlier and I couldn't find my email. So I can't find out my email with, oh, maybe it's on here. It's not on here. No. Yeah, no. I just have a return slip. Don't know how you can return it. Anyway. So yeah, if you're interested in how long this took to get here, I ordered it. It's taken a few weeks. Obviously, I live in Florida at the minute. This has come all the way from that factory in Sheffield that she shows it, showed in her video. So it's come a long way. Um, it took a few weeks. I ordered it. I'm going to double check. Let me look at my mes messages and I'll be right back. So I just double checked. I ordered it on the 21st of December and it arrived on the... Did it arrive yesterday or the day before? yesterday it arrived on the 4th of january so it took a few weeks but as i said i'm all the way over here the price i found and the tan was 21.99 which is a isn't bad like it's not cheap it's not super drug zone price but it's not like it's similar to loving tan or bondi sands or saint tropez is even more expensive so it's not the most expensive the dark is cheaper extra dark 21.99 the mitt was $9.99, which, I mean, it's a good mitt. They sell them in Primark for three pa two or three pounds, but we don't have Primark here. So as long as I get enough use out of it, $9.99 is not bad. So that brings me to $31.99 for the tan and the mitt. And then I actually paid £10 for the delivery because I'm all the way over here, which brings my total to 41 41 pounds ish which obviously if you're going to be looking at me like what the hell you're an idiot but i really wanted to try it and whatever tan i ordered if i order a, a uk brand it's going to be expensive to get here so it better be good enough because it cost me a lot of money so anyway i'll see you later when i'm applying it and we'll see how it goes i might quickly It looks like normal tan. It's brown. Oh, it smells nice. When you first pump it out, it smells like clean and fresh. Like it smells like shower gel. I'm guessing it doesn't smell like shower gel when it's been sat on your body for hours, but it smells fresh. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye. Hello. So the time has come. On big time. I was trying to find the best place to set you up and you're currently in the bath on a shelf but that's the best that I could do so basically I thought I would just show you like the first putting on like on one leg so we can see the difference on my legs and then I'll finish doing the rest of me and come back to you so the mitt is on so much crap on the floor just to try and get it as good as possible. So I'm just shaking it up, already got it on my finger, well done. It says shake well. Put that there. Gonna do one, two, three. And we're gonna do my right leg first. Pretty smooth, you know. Oh, lol. Increase. Wow, I'm not gonna lie, it goes on real smooth. Like, the lack of streaks is very good. I'm not the most skilled at putting on fake tan. So this is pretty good for me. I'm 
gonna do my whole leg. Hmm. As I said before, it smells um, fresh when it's fresh out of the tin, but I reckon later it's gonna smell like every other fig time. Probs. A streak. There we go. Okay. So let's take this off a sec. This is my two legs, the difference in colour. I'm gonna pick you up and show you as well. In better lighting. So here are my legs and the difference in colour. It is like a bronzy orange <laughs> toned color and she recommends for like the deepest tan to reapply again after an hour i'm not sure if i'm gonna do that yet or not but see you when i've done everything else okay so i have applied layer number one and i'm feeling bronze i have applied some to my face as well and i think i might do the whole reapply in an hour because that's what they suggested, so I'm gonna do it. So yeah, basically it applied nice and smooth. Um, my skin doesn't absorb things easy. So whether it's sun cream, whether it's moisturizer, whether it's fake tan, I always stay sticky. And I will say that at the minute it's feeling pretty good. Like I don't feel dead, my arms are a little bit, but I did that last. My legs are feeling pretty absorbed, which is good. Um, so like when I sleep in fake tan, I feel sticky up and disgusting all night. So we'll see how I feel in terms of that. I feel like I've done my hands okay, apart from I got my friggin' fingertips. Well, that was my own fault. So yeah, I'm gonna probably apply one more layer in an hour and then I'll catch up with you tomorrow after I've slept in it and blah, blah, blah. Okay, see Good you morning. morning. It's the next day and I'm not gonna lie. I look crazy like my face doesn't look as tanned in the camera as it does in person like and also because like my eyes watered it's gone patchy here and also you know how I thought I've done my hands well well somehow my hands have developed more than anywhere else I don't even want to show you my hands because it's an embarrassment somehow the tan is on my palms and my hands and I didn't tan the palms of my hands but this is the back of my hand. I'm not so bad unless I do this. What? How did I do that? I'm gonna blame that on me instead of the tan because how how did I do that? I'm a rookie. Okay, the rest of me looks decent. My legs look okay. I was still kind of sticky in the night, but as I said, I always feel sticky like that's just a given. I knew it was going to happen. Um, but I don't feel sticky now. And you can kind of see on this arm. I'll show you. You can see on this arm here, these marks where like, I think I was sweaty and sticky. And I've rubbed on the bed sheets or something. So anyway, I'm going to rinse it off and have a shower now. And hopefully scrub my hands off a bit because this is ridiculous. If I turn up to work like that, they're going to actually hate me. So yeah, I'm gonna get in the shower and I'll see you afterwards. Okay, so I've rinsed, I've moisturized and everything is looking a whole lot better. My face doesn't look as crazy. It just kind of blends in. Like I don't have a line from my face to my neck, but my face also isn't like crazy orange. My hands are a lot better now. I did scrub my palms a bit. 
Um, but I think that was really my error because this hand was a lot better than this hand. So that just shows that I did one hand terrible and one hand okay. Um, everywhere's real smooth. Like, this isn't the best lighting. Later on, I'm going to go sit where I sat for the first intro so that I can screenshot before and after so we can see a proper difference with the same lighting because my roommate's still asleep so I'm in a different room right now than I was then but yeah and also because I've got the blinds open I might close them in a minute it's the natural lights kind of washing me out and I don't look as tanned on the camera as I do in person but anyway this is how we're looking and I really like it like it's honestly not streaky at all and like I did my back myself I didn't have anyone to help me and it doesn't even look bad like I, well when I looked in the mirror I did think it looked bad anyway like I couldn't see any streaks or anything or any like patches it just kind of looks pretty maybe there is a white block in the middle but it's honestly not bad to say I had no one here feel fantastic. I'm gonna close the blinds and see if you can see the tan there. Oh, also those splodges on my arm where I've rinsed it off, it's just kind of cleared it up. Oh, and I wanted to show you under my arms. That's the best my under arms I've ever looked after fake tanning. Like, that one looks a little bit white, but there's no horrible lines it hasn't clung to my underarms which is what normally happens wow i've closed the blind and i feel like in this mirror you can kind of tell that i am tanned Ta -da! It just doesn't there we go yay and here you can kind of see my face there Honestly, kind of obsessed. This is how my hands are looking now. Not as bad. It's still not ideal, but not as bad. This side's fine. I've come outside to do my washing and I just thought I'd show you my legs outside in the light. Ta -da! <laughs> I'm glowing. So we're back in my room, my roommate's gone to work, so we're back in the same spot. And I'm hoping you can see the tan. It's honestly a really nice colour, like it is dark. It's not so dark that I look ridiculous and crazy. Like it's a nice brown, especially like this bits of my arms in this light. I think it looks good. My legs, I've got trackies on now, but are also a nice colour. Ta da! Like, I just think it looks really nice. It looks a good brown. It's smooth, it's not streaky. My bedding, I wanted to mention, I have my bed sheet is this colour. It's like cream with this print on it. So my bed sheet has got some fake tan on it surprise surprise but it's not like terrible it's not everywhere it's just like one patch um and i like i'm just gonna wash my bed sheets and then it's gonna be fine so like it's not an issue um i thought i'd show you my back again in this lighting so as i said i did my back myself and it honestly doesn't look bad it's not like there's an obvious bit that i didn't get do you know what i mean so i'm overall impressed Especially if you live in the UK and you're ordering, because it's now on Pretty Little Thing. So if you're ordering a Pretty Little Thing order, you're throwing it in there. You're not paying the extra for the delivery. It's just the price of the tan, which makes it more reasonable. The smell, it smelled like normal fake tan. In the night, it smelled like normal fake tan. Now, it doesn't smell bad. Like, it smells fine. It maybe has a hint of fake tan smell, but nothing crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna like 
keep moisturising and I'll maybe post like updates on my Instagram stories of how it wears, how quickly it fades, if I go proper tiger bread, whatever. So go to my Instagram at Sadie B Beauty. I'll probably um, put it on a story highlight so you can watch that even if you're not following right the second that I upload it. So yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you like the tan. I honestly really like it. The more I look at it, the more I'm enjoying. So yeah, and obviously you could always apply more layers. One thing I wanted to mention, when I applied the second layer, it was harder to apply without streaks. But I feel like once you've rinsed off that top layer, the streaks kind of disappear anyway. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, if you want it darker, apply more layers, leave it on for longer. Don't stay in the shower as long. I like was in the shower, a hot shower, and I washed my hair because I needed to wash my hair. Whereas usually if I want a really good tan, I don't want it all to wash off. I'll have a like lukewarm shower and I'll literally just rinse. Rinse all my body and then get out. And I'll have had my proper cleaning shower like before I fake tanned. So yeah. Is somebody moving in? Someone's moving some stuff outside. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a like and subscribe if you did. Follow me on my Instagram at Sadie B Beauty. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.